America, the unique, the antique French engraving shows African and Native American people living in harmony and happiness in their own village. All right, and they want to and see that's them, the African. No, they were Israelites, so-called Negroes. All right, Africans didn't sell other Africans; they sold so-called Negroes, Hebos, Israelites from the west coast of Africa. All right. So that's a, a common lie that, that, that the so-called white man, self-proclaimed white man, 1681 in Virginia, give you the time frame, when they started doing, they made that into law, into started putting it in documents. Um, they tell that lie because they're trying, they were try, have been trying to hide the fact of who the Israelites are, all right? So, but here we go. Here's an image from that book, Artist's Depiction of What He Saw. Okay, and then they intermingled and intermarried. All right, the history of the Samarca people of Sur Sur Suriname in the South America started around 1685 when African Israelites, all right, and natives escaped together and formed a maroon society for eight generations. Dutch armed forces tried to crush their community, all right, but they still, but today is still alive and boasts 20,000 members. So these people are still around. Some of the people that live out in the sticks and the different parts of the islands in Jamaica and in and, 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 and other different islands around there, a lot of those people are part of those maroon societies. So it was happening in the islands and you know in the and all throughout the Americas. All right. Why? Because they were the same people. Check this out. It says, and this is on page forty, and this is you know in Black Indians, page forty. All right, and it says. Look at the names that they have. It says, men and women who were once starved and beaten by masters grew strong and vigorous in their hidden communities. Maroon settlements took on such daring names as God knows me and none else. Disturb me if you dare. Come try me if you be men. And I shall motor before I shall be taken. All right? But look at that. But look at that. God knows me and none else. And I got Amos 3 and 1 next to it. All right, let's let's go to that. Let's go to Amos three and one. Because this is all a part of the Great Awakening, man. And just like they feared it back then, those Dutch slavers, they fear it now, especially now. This is our Amos three and one. And it reads, Hear this word, O Yahweh, that have spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. All right? So these people knew that they were the Israelites. All right, right here, I have... By Timothy R. Jenkins, all right, the Ten Tribes of Israel, or the true history of the North American Indians showing that they are descendants of these ten tribes. They've always known this, all right? They've always known this, and there's proof that they called on the name Yahawashai in this book. Matter of fact, this is page 168, all right? And there it says, uh, it's talking about when they would sing around the fires, you know, when they would, when they would chant, you know, Yohiwa, Yohiwa, they sing, Yohiwa, Yohiwa, Yohiwa Sho, Yohiwa, 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 Yohiwa Shai, Yohiwa Shu, Yohiwa Shi, Yohiwa Sho, Yohiwa, Yohiwa Shai, knowing that they were saying, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, the Shema Yasharala. All right, I'm going to provide evidence and, and evidence of that in Lost Tribes Promised Lands when I get to it. Here's another, uh, uh, and, and there's so much information in cities, but I can do thorough uh, uh, lessons on each one of these books individually. All right, I'm just giving you, and these are just a few of many books that were written on the subject matter. All right, this is uh, the history of the uh, uh, Middle East. All right. A star in the west, or a humble attempt to discovery of the lost ten tribes of Israel, uh, 
beloved city of Jerusalem. And it also goes into the history of the ten tribes in the Americas. Alright? It definitely goes, it definitely goes into that. Alright? Mont it talks about Montezuma, the same character that's in the, this book here. Lost tribes and promised lands. All right, the origins of of American racism. Why? Because what these Americans have been telling the lie that they're the people of the Lord, that the Jewish people are the people of the Lord, that they're that they're Anglo Saxons. No, the Anglo Saxons were brown complected people. My series on the series on uh, um, uh, Oliver Cromwell, uh, the veil removed. Oliver Cromwell presents all the evidence to prove that. See, it's not just, and that's one thing about Great Millstone. We just don't say things. We prove it. And most of the information that we use is coming from your own sources of information. All right? Your own sources of information. Uh, 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 that's that Psalm 64 and, uh, and 8. Let's grab that real quick. All right? And this is being done through the Spirit. I didn't plan any of this. I just grabbed these books. I saw that video. Said a quick prayer. Uh, grab these books and turn on the camera. All right? Right, so they will make their own tongue to fall upon themselves, all that see them that shall flee away. That was Psalm 64 and 8. So they tell on themselves, all this, all these books that were written by all these Edomite uh, uh, scholars, is, is just basically revealing the light on their lives, what they try to cover up. They're giving you real history, but why isn't this taught in school? Why you see anti this and anti that and anti this and and, and, and all this other mess? All right, look, man, that eight that eight Semitic races, man. Everybody that came out of Shem, all right, was was, was a Hebrew, all right. Not just one, but there's only one that's chosen, and the people in the land of Israel are not it. The people in, in charge of the defamation league are not it, or APAC. They're not the people of the Lord. Those are converts and imposters. All right. As a matter of fact, in this country, it's supposed to be a federal offense to, for identity theft, and they, they do identity theft every day, all day long. But let me grab this book on the shelf behind me. Uh, I want the. Which is the uh, Zonovan's Compact Dictionary. Dictionary. All right. This is out of his compact dictionary. Okay? And I'm going to go to, uh, to the word salvation. I'll show you. I believe it's salvation. Actually, let me go on my phone. So I took a picture of it. Of what I'm looking for. I can't remember the exact word, but you'll understand in a moment when I pull it up. It's under my evidence. Uh, evidences. Photo album. So, there it is. Okay. 